In this one, we're gonna download a code text editor. So writing our code is just a lot more user-friendly than just typing all of the commands into the terminal or PowerShell, right? So we're gonna be using Sublime Text, but another one, a another popular one is called PyCharm or PyCharm. Um, so Sublime Text is 100% free to download and use. If you really like it, you can just go ahead and buy it. Um, I am not affiliated to either one of these. I just know that they're both very popular choices to write out your code. And it's, it, that's all you're really doing here is you're just writing out your code in these things. Um, they do have some features to make them even more user-friendly, but I'm not really gonna go into that right now. All I'm gonna say is just go ahead and download this and get it up and running. And once you do, just open it up and you'll see something like this, right? So you can have your window open, make make your sidebar open and you'll see some blank page just like this so all we really need to do is add our project into it so to do that you just go into project add folder to project and then we want to navigate to wherever our project is now in my case i go to the hard drive users my user the dev folder because that's where the terminal opens by default is right in here and then try django i'm going to go ahead and hit open this brings in all sorts of things in here, right? It brings in virtual environment related stuff. Uh, and it also brings in my SRC folder, which has my manage.py and all sorts of Django related things, right? So, so this is one of those advantages of using a text editor is it just makes it really clean and easy to see what's going on with any given code. And it also gives you these numbers or these lines of code, right? So I can say, hey, look at line 10 and you already can go boom, line 10, okay, cool. Um, so that's another aspect of using a code editor. I mean, there's so many things to it uh, that I'm just not going to go into now because I could I could spend um, probably an hour just going over the setup process of, of Sublime Text. Maybe not that long. But anyway, so we now have this folder in here and we're pretty much ready to use this project. But what I want to do is just save the project inside of Sublime Text um, in here and just save it as Try Django. Um, this workspace thing, that's an extra piece on our testing, so don't worry about that. Um, I save it in here, I've got my Sublime project. Now, of course, if you close out Sublime Text and you are in your project itself and you have something like this, like you're, hey, I'm navigating through back to where it was, you know, you can just double click on this and hopefully it'll open up Sublime. If it doesn't, then just, you know, do the thing that you need to do, which is get info and just say, make sure that you have open with, you know, sublime text on there. If you're on windows, it's right click and, you know, doing the same sort of thing where you just want to make sure that it opens up. But the nice thing is then it just cuts to right where all of my code is and I can open up all the different files that I need and make edits and changes to them. Sublime text is really cool. Really like them. I wish they would sponsor these videos. They don't, but I really like their product. So go check it out and download it because we're gonna be using it a lot. It's not required, but it is highly recommended. See you in the next one.